What's up guys, Junior here with NA Mustangs, uh, bringing you back another video. Today it's gonna be short and sweet, I guess you can say, so I know a lot of you who follow me on Instagram, I kinda teased on, on, on that I got the SV Comp Series wheels, the drag pack for the rear. Had a... Um, well, they were getting powder coated by Duke City Powder Coating here in New Mexico. And well, there they are. They're all done, wrapped in Dickie Thompson tires. They are, uh, as you can see, 295, 55 R15s. I was gonna do Hoosiers, but then again, I also, I mean, I'm gonna take these off here now, cause I'm not gonna lie, driving the first drive, that's the first time I've ever driven on a radio, per se. And it, it is a whole different feeling than street tires or whatever I've driven on. I mean, the car feels kinda like it floats, I guess you can say. So if you kind of move the wheel a little bit, the car does kind of sway a little bit. Um, it is softer, so like braking, taking off, you feel the car kind of move forward and backwards. So it is definitely, definitely a whole different animal, I guess you can say. Um, I've done a few test launches here and there. I do have to get used to this because with the street tires, as you, uh, previous video I have on the draggy down the channel, I'll do a card above. I managed to run a 13.3 according to the draggy, um, and I barely spun, and that's with the knee which are, I mean, technically the radials. But I mean, they're just on the 18s. It was like 35 degrees that day. I barely spun. Spun a little on first. The launch I did on this one, I've done like two test hits. On the first one, I spun first, and then second, it hooked. Granted, I haven't done burnouts. Um, I have no one to do burnout yet, because the clutch is on its way out. Hopefully soon. Because um, it won't hold the burnout, and I don't want to try it yet. So I've just been using as is. Granted, I haven't messed with tire pressure yet. That's what we're gonna do here in a little bit. Might film it. Um, the second launch, I launched like at 2500 and it bogged a little bit and it took off. My only disappointment is it ran like a 14.3, so I'm running a whole second slower than with the street tires and I mean, it's supposed to be hooking. So I need to figure it out. Um, we are planning on going to the drag ship. I'm probably gonna go on the street tires first. No burnouts, just go around the, the puddle or the water and then go, see how it does. The reason being is I want to see how big of a difference the actual drag radios do in an actual uh, drag racing scenario. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're planning on going to the drag ship. I don't know if Alex is going to take the saline or not. If he does, then you'll see the thumbnail say saline versus Roush. We'll try to do that. But I mean, let me know what you guys think. Honestly, the car looks way faster than what it is. I'd be happy if I touch 12s. That's uh, my personal goal. But, I guess 13.3, what I ran before, I'd be happy with the actual traction because I know the drag is pretty accurate, but we are really high in elevation, I mean the drag also isn't that good of a test, also where I was testing, I mean it could be on a downhill or something, I don't know, you never know. But I think as long as I stay in the 13s, I'll be happy. Um, we are running meth injection now, I am probably going to run the first run without spray. Just because, I mean, I think we're gonna go down on, on the nozzle size because it kind of does go really rich and it bogs it down a little bit as soon as it starts spraying. So I'm gonna run it as is because the first drag you run was without meth injection from the 13.3. So I'm gonna run it as is with the street tires, just like I tested on the draggy at the drag ship. And then we'll go from there, we'll go to the radials and then we'll go on spray and then eventually once I get it tuned, we'll see how big of a difference that actually does as well. Um, but yeah, here it is. Gotta say I'm a fan of being there out on radials. Because we do not um, huge shout out to Alomar as always. I know I'm not repping their wheels as much anymore, but these uh new drag comps definitely are really really nice. If you want a drag setup that's slightly different, they come in polished with black originally. And uh, also huge shout out to Jorge at Duke City Powder. Those are all phenomenal. I wish uh I kind of regret not getting the fronts, just, I mean, why not? Skinny's up front, all red, aired out. Maybe in the future we'll see what happens. Uh, sorry about the win again, and uh, we'll see. Some test hits, hopefully we'll do the hits afterwards. We're gonna see uh, how many uh, cops, if there's any in Mexico, where we go. So there's some test passes here, maybe just one, because I don't want to break the car either. It's our first time, honestly, I never abused the car as much. So I'm kind of scared to go to that drag pack because if it hooks, that's when you can break stuff. And at the end of the day, 
in stock transmission, stock clutch, stock rear end, pretty much just lower two valve. So I mean, we'll see how it goes. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell on. We are trying to do a, week, a video a week. Um, I'm trying to do it on Sundays, but the internet unfortunately hasn't been that uh, accurate. So a video can upload in a day, two hours, or even three days was last time. That's why it was a little late. But just keep in mind, it is going to be a video a day. Um, I'm not going to set a set date yet, just because the internet's been kind of unpredictable. But as always, thanks for watching. Thanks. My name when it drops, only going up. Yeah, we headed to the top. I'ma take a hop, take a hop and open shop. I'ma take a hop, take a hop and open shop. Yeah.